Hey everybody, it's the Running Geek back with another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. This is episode 47 and the last part in our series on building a cow farm. Super excited to to actually kind of move on and uh, and get this project done. It's been a fun project, but uh, it seems like a lot of work uh, for our our cows. But this is going to just set us up really well for food in the future and then of course leather as well for our projects before we get started you know today what we're going to do is, is is work on the details of this and, and get the feed lot and everything kind of done over here and make it look all uh spruced up but there are a couple of things that i want to touch on from our last episode because there's been some developments in our our food farm and in our cow farm and processing that I wanted to kind of go over. The first one is is how we uh, actually move the uh, baby cows or calves to the actual water stream. Um, the before we had the water be kind of being held back by pressure plates, and what was happening is is that we would have uh, calves that would essentially just stop. So before we had a pressure plate that was right here and we'd have calves that would just stop and they would grow up and then they would essentially uh, block up our, our uh, little water stream elevator and that sort of thing. So it would cause all kinds of problems. So what I did was, is I put a, instead of a, a pressure plate, I used a stair and then I put a sign right here and then a water source right here. Uh, so the sign stops the water so water source from flowing backwards, but the calves go right up the stairs and then flow right over. And then I did all that all the way down. So there's no more stopping points uh, for the baby calves or anything like that. Um, then we had two other issues, but we got to head downstairs for that. All right, so the second issue that we had was we had the previous, the water elevator, the previously we had one side being wall water and the other side being fence posts. And what was happening is, is for baby calves that did not get turned around, their head, if their head wasn't in the fence post area, they would drown. So we were getting baby calves that would actually drown, which would then cost us beef and leather. So what I did was, is I alternated the fence post and the water sources, which was a massive pain to actually build. You wouldn't think that this would be that bad, but trying to actually build it in, in survival creative is so much easier, but in, in survival, it was such a pain. Um, so, but we did that and that has stopped all calves from, from drowning. So that is awesome. The third problem that we ran into um, was that our cobweb f drop here, we didn't have enough cobwebs. And so what was happening is is the, uh, the cows weren't quite growing up enough and so that we would get baby cows that would die instead of the adult, which then yields no beef and uh, no leather for us. So I ended up dropping the lava source down here instead of up here, which isn't as cool because you can't see like the, the cow on fire. But, you know, I, I mean, I'm not going to be in here that much anyways, um, kind of when they're, when they're dropping down and that sort of thing. So I figured it was a good compromise. But I did have to go down. I had to lower our water elevator here by several blocks so I went all the way down to bedrock and so now this is where the cobweb the first cobweb fall drops and then that's where the elevator now starts so I had to add about oh I, I would say probably about eight or so cobwebs to the system to make them grow up but I am happy to report that it is fully completely foolproof now 
um, so far. Uh, there might be a few more problems, but those were the main issues. And here is what I've actually collected so far um, for leather and beef. So that is uh, that is just great. Um, so that brings you through the issues. Uh, let's head back up top and start discussing the plan for today. So the area up here around the actual uh, kind of the pens for the, the cattle, um, I have done quite a bit of terraforming work. I got this uh, all filled in. You can kind of see where I left off here. There's that line, which is totally fine because we're probably not going to go out that far. Um, but the idea here is what we want to do is we want to make this into like a more traditional uh, cow, like a feedlot. Um, and I kind of had some some ideas um, that uh, that I kind of want to kind of go over. So the idea is is that we would come in here and we would feed the cows. Then out towards this way, what we would do is we would have some grazing areas with fence and then also down the towards the uh towards the east here we would have an area where the we would drop in you know hay bales and that sort of thing for the cows to kind of make it look a little bit more realistic um so i think what i want to do is have this area be kind of like a fenced in area and then when we get baby cows that pop out of here we'll put them in the feeding lot here um, so let's just get let's just get started. I think it'll make a little bit more sense, um, you know, once once we kind of get underway here. So I'm thinking we want the the walking area to be at least three wide. Um, so let's put um, let's put a a, a uh, log right there, and then if we put in. I've got some gates here, which is good. Let's get those in the hot bar. And then let's also get some fences. And then we are going to probably need some slab. All right, so let's put a slab on top of that because we don't want the cows to actually jump and get on top of that. So this will prevent the cows from jumping on top of that. Um, so let's do something like this, and then we will have a gate in between there. And then what I was thinking is that we would essentially do something kind of like this. We'd have another gate right here, and then let's go fence, fence, fence. And then, of course, we'll do our post. Okay, and then what do we want to do here? Do we want to make each pen like its own? Hmm... I'm thinking we probably want to, to do something like that. Maybe we could put pressure plates down or something to make it easy to navigate in and out of here. Um, but that would be kind of like the, the fenced or the feeding area for us. And then if any baby cows came out, then we could lead them through this gate, which will lead to the feeding pasture. Um, that'll be good. All right, so then when the hill comes down here, let's, let's move that out too, kind of like that. Um, and then we can just put fence along here. So that's good. And then let's go back out here as well and we'll put this. Now the reason I'm doing the fence post kind of like this is because uh, it is going down the terrain. And if we didn't put um, a log, right? If we did something like this where the fence continued, number one, that looks a little weird. So you kind of have to do something like that. Um, so what I wanted to do was not have that kind of look um, to go down the hill. So that's kind of why I, I think I'm going to do the fence post right on the, the edge of the terrain here. I think that will look all right. Um, so let's do that and then add our slab. And then I think we will just run fence just like this. And then we will come down here. And I had already marked out kind of a spot where I was thinking that we would end kind of that feedlot area or the, at least a pasture. So we'll kind of do something like this and come down. Oh, that's, that's looking pretty good already. I like that. Um, and then I was thinking I had a kind of a plan for the, the feedlot. Um, let's do, let's see. So if I, if we use, that cow sounds really close. Is that cow really close? There is a cow that's really close. 
Let's get rid of that guy so he doesn't bother us. Um, let's see. So how wide is this? Let's see. So it's that block right there. Okay, which would be this one. Okay, cool. So let's put that like that. And then let's do... Let's do something like this. We'll put trapdoors, and this will make sense in a second here. But what I'm thinking is, is that typically in a feedlot, you have all of the cattle come down to uh, kind of the end of the pasture right here. And the farmer would then come along with their tractor or whatever the case may be and just put the hay right here. And the cows would come down, and that's kind of how they get they get fed. Um, but what I was thinking is is that we would do something like this, because usually what you have is you have a fence where the cows can stick their head through. Um, and I don't have my axe on me, of course. Um, but I was thinking that we could maybe kind of simulate that if we did something like this. Ooh, I, I'm liking this already. Um, that looks pretty good so far. Okay, ooh, I like that. So the cows would come down here and they could stick their heads through the fence. Now, I have no idea if the cows can actually jump over that or not. Um, I guess we're gonna kinda have to find out. Um, then what I was thinking is, is for the actual feed portion, we would have, um, let's get our shovel out here. Let's clear some of this away. I was thinking we would have cobblestone down and how many layers do we want to do? Maybe just like two. I want to, the idea would be is I want to stack some hay bales. So let's do maybe something like this. Um, probably didn't have to put cobblestone there. And then we'll put uh, another of our logs there. And then we would use cobblestone fence. I think kind of like that and then kind of like this and we would go all the way down till right there of course we'd have another fenced area right there this would all be cobblestone and then what we could do is a um, couple of things well we could um you know let's just put oh we can't jump over that okay that makes sense um we would put, we could put a hay bale like that to simulate uh, like hay on the ground. But then we could also put hay bales like right, oh wow, okay. We could put hay bales like right here as as well. And is that gonna connect to the fence? Hmm, well, that's kind of lame. Um, well maybe, maybe if we just keep we could have a couple down here like this, and then maybe just like this, and then maybe we could do one like that, and then even one like that, and then something like this, and then maybe something like that. Something, yeah, I think that, that so far that looks pretty good. But the farm, so the farmer would come down here, put all the hay in there for the cows to, to eat. And that looks, I like that, that looks pretty good. And of course we'll have cobblestone, all in here, so that will that will look pretty good. So if we do kind of cobblestone, because normally they would have, you, you would not have dirt where the hay is because you want to be able to shovel that out. Um, all right, let me get a few more materials and show you what we're gonna do for the inner workings of the actual feedlot pen. So inside the fenced area here, we're going to, it's gonna be very muddy and dusty and there's gonna be no grass. So what you're seeing for grass right now, that's gonna be entirely taken out. Um, you would have the cows that will walk back and forth from the actual barn area down to the feed area and they would do that several times a day. And so this, there's going to be no grass here. And so what I was thinking is, you know, number one, we want to do like dirt and mud, but we don't want just to be just like plain dirt. We want to show some really, some variation in there. Uh, so what I've got is I've got some concrete powder. I have got some coarse dirt. I've got some podzel. I've got some brown uh, wool, and then we're going to use brown carpets as well, and then we'll use the path blocks. Let me see if I have some jack-o'-lanterns around here, um, because we do need to make sure that this is properly lit so that we don't get mobs in here. Um, 
let's start at the top here. So the way the cows are going to come down or they would come down each day would be kind of starting through. Oh, that's not what we wanted to do. Let's put that back here. Um, they would come down from the barn and make their way down here. So we're going to have... Um, we're gonna have essentially just a, a, a straight path all the way down here, okay? And then that would make their way to the feeding area. And of course, this is gonna be a lot bigger. We kinda of will vary this up here, kinda of like so. Um, I think what we'll do for these whole blocks is let's use spruce wood here and see how that looks. Because um, we don't want full blocks to be kinda of showing like that. Um, and that one doesn't matter because that's going to be a fence post, I think. Um, so we'll put kind of something like that and then something like that. That looks that looks pretty good. And then we want to definitely increase the width of, of this. And we don't want any straight lines. We want it to just kind of be varied um, and kind of all over the place something kind of like so and we're not going to have any any grass blocks at all not no grass blocks here so let's get a couple more of these paths here and then we'll increase the path something kind of like this and that should look fairly deep yeah that looks fairly decent I, I like the looks of that so far and then let's go ahead and put our slabs down here Kind of like so, and let's see, that definitely needs one right there. Um, we might, yeah, we could probably leave that in, but that's okay. That'll look pretty good. Um, and then what we would do is we would put, let's put lighting in first, and that will kind of drive some of our other things. So let's get a light in the corner right here. We don't want to put a jack-o'-lantern next to a path block uh, because that will, will definitely show. But then what we can do to hide the jack-o'-lantern is just put a brown carpet over it. So let's put another one right here. So something kind of like that. So um, let's just work in this small area here. Then let's grab some concrete, some concrete powder. We'll grab some full blocks of wool. And you can kind of see the different variations in color here. And so what we want to do is we want to make our way from light to, to dark. And, and so the, the more muddy or darker, less dry areas are going to be towards the outside where the cows don't travel as much. So what we'll probably do is we'll probably put coarse dirt kind of near the path and we'll try and make a, like a general rule here. Um, you, we don't have to follow it exactly here. Um, but we put kind of coarse dirt like that. And then what we might do is outside the coarse dirt is do some concrete powder. So something kind of like so, and then maybe even like that, and then like that. And then what we can do is use some brown wool to be kind of more m like mud areas. And that probably looks like a good location for another jack-o'-lantern which will good because that will give us some height variation as well so let's get our carpets back out here um kind of put something like that oh i'm liking that that is cool already guys that is awesome and then let's let's do a little bit of podzle out here and we will kind of do something like that. And then we're going to have this mud kind of extend beyond the fence line because we don't want it to just be, you know, just go into like a solid piece there. So let's do some brown wool there. And then we can probably do another concrete powder. And then we just vary this. You know, we're not going to, there's no like true pattern. Let's get out some coarse dirt. That coarse dirt is just awesome. I love that texture. Um, really makes it really nice. Okay, kind of something like that. And then we can come back out here and then we can even extend this beyond the fence line. So, cause what we don't want is that's gonna look really weird if we just have a straight line. So we want it to kind of vary back out um, and go kind of like to grass. But now we, we won't have it extend too far cause the cows can't stick their head out too far 
um, and this is probably going to be grass at some point for the, the farmer. So we'll kind of do something like that, and let's grab some more pods over here, because that will look kind of nice. Something like that, and then how about we grab that, and then one more. So just kind of doing just very, just kind of make it, uh, you know, just 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 kind of vary it a little bit here. And then we got got kind of a weird shape going on here. So let's do something like that, and then let's put this kind of out there. Okay, so something kind of kind of like so. Oh, that looks that looks sweet. That looks really good. Um, and then let's grab a few pieces of grass because what I was thinking is on some of the coarse dirt, we could actually use a couple pieces of grass if we can get. Let's take some ferns too. So let's get maybe just one piece of grass, and then if there's a spot for a fern, we can do that as well. And not don't throw it. All right, so we would definitely have grass on the outside. Shoot, I should have grabbed some more here. So we're definitely gonna have grass on the outside, uh, kind of where that starts to grow, and we can vary that up. We can maybe do some doubles. Um, we can probably put that fern right here too. That will be cool. Yeah, oh, nice, okay, cool. So that looks pretty good. And then we'll extend the dirt all the way to the actual pen here as well. Um, and then maybe like right there in the corner where the cow wouldn't travel too much. There's not gonna be a lot of grass inside of the actual pen because the, the cows will, will trample that. Um, and you know, I'm not liking how this is looking. Let's Let's substitute that one out and make that a path block. Oh, that's definitely cool. Um, all right, that looks pretty good. And then we'll kind of vary this uh, all throughout the, the pens there. I really like this. The interesting thing is he's gonna be able to see if the actual cows, um, if they actually get through. And maybe if they can, what we can do is maybe we could like put another log and put like fence gates or something like that on top of there. And this looks like it's connecting and we don't want that. So let's remove that and we'll put some more hay, something like this. Oh, you know what? You know what else we can do to vary this up? Let's go grab some yellow carpet. Um, and oh, that will, that will be awesome. All right, let's grab some yellow carpet and I think um, you know, if we don't, we can make some dye real quick. Let's see, do we have any yellow carpet? And we do, excellent. Okay, that's gonna be pretty close to hay, but it should give us a little bit of color variation in there so it doesn't look all the same. Maybe it'll kind of be like a, like mixed with dirt or, you know, or, or brand new uh, straw or whatever the case may be. All right, so let's put like, how about, Oh, just like that. Yeah, and then we could actually put a light under here as well because um, we're going to need to light up this area and we can use these for lights. Oh, awesome. That will look very good because, uh, again, we don't want torches all over the place. I mean, there's some places where torches look fine and there's others where they definitely don't. Um, but, yeah, so uh, let's get busy and get the rest of this completed uh, kind of in this fashion. I'm left behind, obeyed the line, but always a gone. You fool me at the bottom line, I lie afraid. Are we in the same place? Falling.
like I should do like a ta-da moment or something like that. Man, this is awesome. I really like the way that this uh, this really turned out. Um, it does. It looks it looks muddy and it looks very much like a, a Midwestern uh, feedlot. Um, <clears throat> and uh, really happy with the way the lighting turned out as well. Um, but yeah, so we you know we still have a lot more to do around here. You know we've got to get the path in around the uh, the cow farm um, and the the feedlot piece. I want the path to come down and around here as well. Um, and then this is going to be where our uh, big potato farm is going to go over there. And then we've got an apple orchard that's going to go up over there. Um, you know, it's just that the farm project uh, continues uh, for sure, but this thing is definitely producing uh, tons of beef and leather for us. Um, the other thing I did was is I've got the uh, cows starting to breed up and in the individual pens, but these guys are crazy. Look at them. They're like pogo stick cows. I have no idea. So it's got to be some sort of like pathfinding thing. It thinks it can get over that, um, but whatever, whatever. So that that'll that's that's cool. Um, they can just jump around in there, not a big deal. Um, I did put uh, put some uh, pressure plates here as well just to make it easier to come in and out. And I think I'll just leave those gates in between the pens open. Well, if you did make it through all three parts, thank you so much for watching. And leave a comment below with the hashtag, there's the beef. Uh, just so I'll know that you made it through uh, all three parts. But I really appreciate it. I know it's been kind of a grind, guys. Um, but uh, hopefully this has been kind of a, a fun project. I know the, the final result uh, has definitely been fun. And I'm definitely going to use some of the things I learned for the sheep and the pig farm as well um, as we uh, produce those. Uh, but as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And have a great day.